Asclepios, a higher level of safety for patients thanks to comprehensive hygiene. Many people come into contact with each other every day in every hospital. All of them carry germs, that is, bacteria and viruses throughout their entire body. For example, a healthy person carries germs on the skin and in the mucous membranes. However, some of these germs are so-called multi-resistant pathogens. If they invade the body, they can cause infections that are more difficult to treat. The immune system is often weakened in hospital patients. Open wounds or catheter entry points can provide additional targets. Hygiene is therefore one of the important components of patient safety at Asclepios. How do germs get into the hospital? Every person is a germ carrier. Patients and visitors can bring dangerous germs with them into the hospital without knowing it. They are merely carriers without becoming ill themselves. What does Asclepios do to protect patients? Working in each hospital to protect the patients are hospital hygienists, hygiene specialists, and doctors and nurses who act as hygiene representatives. Patients with whom there is a risk of specific germs are examined and screened by means of a swab upon admission. If the screening results are positive, more stringent protective measures are taken. Asclepius is continuing to further develop its hygiene measures. These include using door handles made of a disinfectant copper alloy, for example. Disinfecting the hands is of such great importance that all Asclepius hospitals take part in the Clean Hands campaign. What hygiene measures are observed by the hospital staff? The hands are major carriers of germs. Therefore, the most important hygiene measure is disinfection of the hands. The disinfectant solution reliably kills 99.9% .9 of all germs if used carefully. Both patients and visitors should regularly disinfect their hands in the hospital. Dispensers are provided in many locations. It is vital to use the correct technique when doing this. One, palm to palm. 2. Right palm over the back of the left hand and left palm over the back of the right hand. 3. Rotation of the left thumb within the closed right palm and vice versa. 4. Palm to palm with fingers spread out and interlaced. 5. Backs of the fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. 6. Rubbing the tips of the closed right hand fingers in the left palm in a circular motion and vice versa. The hands must always be disinfected before and after each contact with a patient. Disinfection of the immediate surroundings of the patient is also important. Disinfected cloths are used for this. The following applies for patient and visitors. Wash the hands thoroughly, especially after going to the bathroom. Disinfect the hands regularly using the dispensers provided, particularly upon the recommendation of the treating doctor or the nursing staff. Encourage each other to disinfect the hands. Keep the surfaces of bedside lockers free. Avoid touching catheters or wounds. Inform yourself about the hygiene rules and ask hospital staff if anything is unclear. The following additionally applies for visitors. Only visit the hospital if you are healthy. Do not visit if you have a cold, flu or diarrhea, for example. Our staff will be glad to help you if you have any questions about hygiene.